Now in this video we will discuss problem related to the formal charge. So we have already discussed the concept related to the formal charge. So how to find out the formal charge? Let us suppose we know. Now let me give you the first problem. You have this a species that is CS3. What is the formal charge here? You see one electron goes from this side, one electron from this side and one electron from this side. So carbon has three electron, one can expect carbon four electron, but it has only three. So there will be a plus charge. Are you getting or not? Let us say you have this species. What are the formal charge in boron? So now this is one, this is one, this is one. So you will have one, one, one. So this will have formal charge zero because here you have three and it one can expect the three electrons. Now let us say I have this species. What is the formal charge? So nitrogen will have one electron from this side, one from this side, one from this side, one from this side. So it has four electron. Nitrogen should have five, but it has four, so it has lost one electron. So basically, it will have plus one formal charge. Let us discuss some more uh, species of carbon. So this is species of carbon. What is the formal charge on this species? So we have already discussed. This is a plus charge. Now this is a carbon and containing a positive charge. So if you see this species, this is a carbon and that contains a positive charge that is cation. So now this species is called carbocation. So if you learn organic chemistry, you will find this a species is called carbocation. Now next species of carbon, we have this molecule. Now it has three bond and one lone pair. What is the formal charge? You can clearly find out one electron, one electron, one electron. So three bond electron and one lone pair. So total five electron carbon should have four, but it right now it has five. So basically it will have a minus one formal charge. So this kind of a species in which carbon has a minus one formal charge, that is a carbon plus anion. So this a species is carbon plus anion but not it is called not called carb anion carbon anion it is simply called carb anion so this uh, species is called carb anion are you getting or not so this uh, species is called carb anion now let us discuss the next uh, species of carbon so we have one more uh, species this uh, species and this uh, species if you calculate the formal charge basically one electron from this side one from this side and two so this is four so this will have zero formal charge the same as species we can write something like this and it will have zero formal charge now you see this uh, species is called carbene so this is called carbene so carbene is basically having two electrons basically there are two kind of carbene you have uh, one carbene written as something like this so this is a one kind of carbene and you have another kind of carbene something like this. Are you getting or not? So we will discuss more details sometime later but right now let us discuss this kind of carbene in these two electrons are basically paired. So these electrons are paired. This kind of carbene is basically called singlet carbene. So this is basically your singlet carbene. When electrons are paired we call this as a singlet carbene same thing are you getting or not let us say the same thing you can write in this way also singlet carbon can also be written as something like this only thing is this two electron at the same place so these two electrons are paired but now let us say in this case this electron now electrons are not paired so not paired so electrons are basically are into different orbital so not paired and this kind of carbon is called triplet carbon so this is a triplet carbon so this is another a species of carbon so we discuss three kind of a species of carbon we discuss carbon plus cation that is a one a species uh, basically this is called carbocation and then we discussed carb anion and then we discussed uh, this is the radical are you getting or not sorry carbon and now we have another a species that is called radical something like this so you have three bond and one lone electron so if you see if you calculate the formal charge one again once again the formal charge is zero but now this uh, species is called carbene sorry this uh, species is called a radical so this uh, species is called a radical so radical also have zero formal charge are you getting or not let us say some more uh, species now related to the formal charge generally you can have two kind of problem so first 
kind of problem you will have Lewis data structure is given to you Lewis data structure is given Lewis data structure is given and then you have to calculate the formal charge this is a one kind of problem that is a easy problem so you can calculate what is the formal charge if Lewis data structure is given let us say some of the exercise of this type we will have let us say I give you this molecule now a Lewis data structure is given to you calculate the formal charge of oxygen so you see one electron from this side one from this side one from this side so you have five electron three bond pair and two lone pair so total five one can expect oxygen six but it has only five so oxygen will have plus one formal charge are you getting or not similarly let us say if you have this molecule so there are two oxygen and this is given to you now calculate in these two oxygen what is the formal charge so oxygen for this two four six one seven so this will have minus one formal charge this is two four and one one from this side and one from this side so six so this will have zero formal charge are you getting or not let us say if you have this molecule CS3C double bond O and O so let us say there are this kind of thing you have so you have two lone pair here now calculate the formal charge on this oxygen so two four six seven so minus one and this will two four six so this will have zero formal charge now let us say you have this species calculate the formal charge on nitrogen idea is same now one electron from this side one electron from this side one from this side one from this side nitrogen should have five electron but it right now it has only four so basically it has lost one electron and one lost one electron so it will contain a plus one charge are you getting or not let us say if you have this molecule what is the formal charge you will have now boron should have three electron but right now one two three four electrons so it will have minus one formal charge are you getting or not let us say if you have a case of CS3 O H H what is the formal charge on oxygen you see three electron one two three and two from the lone pair so it oxygen basically has five electron it should have six but it has only five so this will have plus one formal charge so this is a one kind of exercise Lewis data structure is given or somehow you can decide how to write and if you write the Lewis data structure you can calculate the formal charge so this is the first kind of exercise and the second kind of exercise the reverse that is formal charge is given to you and then you have to calculate the number of lone pair that is the Lewis data structure and what is the lone pair so what is the second kind of exercise you can have formal charge is given now formal charge given and you have to decide how many lone pair you have that is the number of lone pair number of lone pair this is also easy task you can always calculate now let us say if I give you this molecule CH3O minus now oxygen has a minus so how many and then you have to decide number of lone pair so you can clearly show this one this is a easy task oxygen has a minus charge this means oxygen should have seven electron because six plus one so seven so one will come from the side so so I need six more electrons so two four and this is six so this is your a uh, structure so now there are Lewis data structure we can write something like this same thing so basically oxygen contains three lone pair now let us say if I give you this molecule and in this case oxygen contains zero formal charge how many lone pair you have so if it contains zero this means it should have six two is coming from the bond pair so I need four electron for the lone pair so two plus two more so this is the four now let us say if I say this molecule NH2 and this contains a nitrogen contains a minus one formal charge I write down the Lewis data structure the number of lone pairs basically you have to decide so minus one this means nitrogen five plus one six so two already we have so we need four more so two plus two four and plus two six are you getting or not let us say I have something like this O two minus 
oxygen has two minus I write down the Lewis total structure so oxygen has two minus six valence electron plus two so total it should have eight electron now eight electron means I should have two to four to six and to eight so in this case oxygen will have two negative charge now let us say if I have O2 two minus now if I give you the skeleton a skeleton is this you can calculate two minus this means I need a uh, total electron each oxygen will contain in minus one charge that is seven electron two four six and one from this side seven two four and this is six and one from this side seven so this oxygen will contain minus charge and this oxygen will also contain minus one charge are you getting a note so we can write something like this uh, in a better way uh, so this oxygen each oxygen contains minus one formal charge now let us say I have O2 minus now in this case what you will have how many electron you should have oxygen O2 so this should have 13 6 into 2 plus 1 so one can expect 13 electron and now if you have 13 electrons so how can you write this one so you have O O and now 2 2 2 6 and 2 8 and I need four more electron to so two to four plus one five. So this oxygen two four five six two four five six. So this will have zero formal charge. Now this oxygen two four six seven. So this oxygen will have minus one formal charge. If somebody wants the same kind, basically one can write another resonating structure. In that case, oxygen this oxygen will contains five electron, and this oxygen will contain six electron one can write something like this so if this contains six this means this will have minus one formal charge and this will have zero formal charge so if you find average this oxygen will contain minus half charge this oxygen will also contain minus half charge so you see basically we have seen three kind of oxygen one oxygen that contains minus two charge o2 another o2 two minus another is o2 simple minus now in this case each oxygen term contains two minus charge this kind of molecule is called oxide so this kind of oxygen like something like this you can have magnesium oxide m0 now this is o2 two minus each oxygen contains minus one charge on each oxygen now this kind of oxygen is basically called peroxide so this is peroxide or you can say peroxide so both word is used an example is something like H2O2 and now this case you will have each oxygen will contains minus half charge so each oxygen contains minus half charge each oxygen atom are you getting or not so each oxygen atom in this case contains minus half charge and this kind of a space is a like KO2 and this is called superoxide so in this case we call this is a potassium superoxide so this kind of oxygen is called superoxide so this is about the formal charge calculation so we discuss basically there are two kind of exercises you can have formal charge is given number of lone pair you can decide or number of lone pair that is the Lewis total structure is given then you can decide the formal charge so two kind of exercises let us do some more exercises so these are the miscellaneous exercises you can have let us say you have CH3OH2 plus you saw the lone pair and you saw the positive charge where this formal charge will reside so let me give you a hint a skeleton is something like this CH3OH H and now this will have oxygen will have 1 2 3 and 2 5 so oxygen will have plus 1 formal charge are you getting or not so this is now let us say if we have NaBH4 NaBH4 now this molecule and I will give you a hint this is a ionic molecule and this this is basically contained of Na plus and BH4 minus now things are easy one can always write BH4 minus so boron contains four hydrogen and they are connected by bond now this means each bond will contribute to one electron so four electrons so basically boron should have three but right now it has four so boron will have minus one formal charge we can write something like this BH4 
So boron basically contains minus one formal charge in this case. Similar molecule we have this is called sodium borohydride. Similarly we have lithium aluminium hydride. This molecule can also be treated as somewhat ionic because this is not hundred percent ionic, but we can treat this as a ionic. And in this case this is made up of Li plus and AlH four minus. Are you getting or not? So this is basically uh, made up of Li plus and ALH4 minus. Now if you write ALH4 minus this is same thing to similar to the BH4 minus it will contains four hydrogen and then four hydrogen so four bonds here so you will have a minus one charge on aluminium atom are you getting or not this is so easy so you have aluminium hydrogen aluminium hydrogen and then you have a minus one formal charge are you getting or not so now let us say next one if you have let us say something related to the double bond. So let us say if you have CH2 double bond and then here you have OH plus. Now you so clearly where this plus charge results. So you can write CH2 and double bond O and then you have H. Now this oxygen contains a plus charge. So this has two has five bond and that's why we have put only one lone pair. Two from this side, one from this side, two, one, three and plus two, five. Now let us say if we have this uh, spaces and now if I say uh, so the number of formal charge so the formal charge on oxygen atom so two from this side one from this side two three plus two five so it should add six but it has only five so it will have a plus one formal charge are you getting or not let us say this molecule is slightly uh, looks like complicated but not exactly complicated you can do always CS3 twice O and then I have BF3. Now this molecule is basically made up of two part. Now CS3, CS3, this has two lone pair and now I have BF3. Now if you have some idea basically this has lone pair this is called this kind of a species that has lone pair and it can donate the lone pair is called Lewis acid. Are you get sorry this is called Lewis base Lewis base the one that can donate the lone pair is called Lewis base now this uh, space is basically has only six it can take electron and this kind of a space is called Lewis acid that is a uh, it can accept electron the same thing happens these two electron goes to boron and now octet of boron will be completed so CS3 oxygen will have one lone pair of electron and one lone pair of electron will form a bond and here you have BF3. So this is the spaces. Now it is easy to calculate the formal charge. Oxygen has five bond one, two, three and two, five. So it will have a plus one formal charge. Now boron will have minus one formal charge. You can calculate. If you see the total molecule overall charge on this molecule is zero plus one and minus one it contribute to zero so overall charge overall charge on the molecule is zero because molecule is neutral are you getting or not you have some charge internally but externally there is no charge let us do some more exercise if you have this one and this space is very common in organic chemistry what is the formal charge on this carbon? So this is three from this side, two from this side, five. Carbon should have only four, so there is a minus charge. Now this ion is very common and this ion is called acetylide ion when carbon has a negative charge. And this is coming from acetylene and that's why this is called acetylide ion. Acetylide ion. Maybe a spelling may be wrong. Acetylide ion getting or not so let us say if you have this uh, space is CH2 and double bond CH uh, what is the formal charge on this carbon now you see this uh, space is here you have 2 and 1 so uh, this is 2 plus 1 3 and now this will have a positive charge. this kind of cation that is this carbon is sp2 carbon if you have some idea of hybridization this is sp2 carbon this kind of carbocation is called vinylic carbocation so this is vinylic carbocation later we will discuss about this carbocation so this is your vinylic carbocation 
are you getting now let us say if we have this uh, spaces <laughs> what is the formal charge uh, let me show you uh, let us say here you have only one hydrogen so here you have only one hydrogen so what is the formal charge on this carbon so you should have one two three so it will have a plus charge if you see this kind of carbocation is called a lilac carbocation a double bond and then you have sp2 carbon hybridized carbon and positive charge over that this kind of carbocation is called a lilac carbocation later we'll discuss this a lilac carbocation is resonance a stabilized are you getting or not so what we have discussed in this video basically we discussed how to calculate the formal charge and we said okay formal charge calculation is not a tough task but you have to see is you have to see how many number of electron the atom has if it is ha if it has the required number of atom that number of electron that a neutral atom has formal charge will be zero if it has more electrons how many number of more electrons it has from the neutral atom that is a negative that is the negative charge that will be placed as a formal charge and there are two kind of question you will have you can have Lewis daughter structure is given calculate the formal charge one kind of exercise another kind of exercise you can have formal charge is given you can calculate the number of lone pair so this is all about the formal charge